Hi, I'm Terry. And hi, I'm Anne. And we're with the Streams of Oil Young Living Team. And today's class is going to be on something we feel is very important, which is dealing with emotional needs. We and all have them. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So um, different people have different needs. Some of them are based on traumatic experiences. Some of them may not be so traumatic, just difficulties over a long period of time. And um, I am amazed at how many people are on medications for, for emotions, for feelings, for depression, or, or other things. And um, so anyway, we are going to be talking about the Feelings Collection. So this is a collection or a kit from Young Living. And uh, there are six oils in it. We're going to be talking about those. Um, most of our notes for today's lesson, today's class, came from this CD, and this, I mean, this, yeah, the CD, uh, it comes with the feelings kit, so when you open it up, you have to lift up the oils to be able to find this, um, at least on mine when it came, it was underneath the oils, underneath the cardboard, and you just have to lift it up, and it's in there, and it's Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, and he explains why um, he created the oils, because he never created an oil for profit, he created every oil for a purpose, and so he explained why he has some, has the oils. And we'll be talking about some of that, but he has a lot more stories, a lot more information, a lot more details than we're going to be talking about today. So um, we'll go ahead and get started. Oh, we've got oils. Mm -hmm. sure <laughs> um, we have th These oils are not in the kit. These were some that we felt like um, we wanted to introduce to you. Right. So, Anne, I'll let you do yours first. Okay. The first one we're going to introduce then is Excite. We love this oil. Yes. Terry and I both are excited and passionate about what we're doing to share this with others. Mm -hmm. And so we use some of this before we started this telecast because right. <laughs> we want you to feel that, that we have the energy to excite you and, and feel the need you have for these oils. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely. Terry, and one yours? that we didn't apply beforehand, so I'm going to apply <laughs> it now. Um, we is joy. Joy comes with the starter kit. It can come in a 5 milliliter or in a 15 milliliter. Um, I like putting joy just right here over my heart. Mm -hmm. um, I guess well, I sure but you can put it, Some people put it on as perfume behind their ears or mm -hmm. a little bit on their wrists. Um, yeah, just wherever you good. feel like you need some. I love this And a little joy. goes a long way. Yes, it does. A little dab will do you. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes yeah. I'll put, I have a diffuser necklace. It's not from Young Living. Mm -hmm. Young Living doesn't have any diffuser necklaces right now. But um, I have a little diffuser necklace. And if, if I'm ever wearing it, it's Joy that's in there. Because yes. that's the one that if I need an oil all day long, that's the one I need that's <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> so... <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The Feelings Collection, Dealing with Emotional Needs. Uh, oils go beyond the mind, and they tap into deep, hidden reaches of our emotions. Egyptians used the oils, and they called it cleansing the flesh and the blood. What they called removing evil spirits, today we call getting rid of negative emotions or bad attitudes. Um, fear is a very controlling energy. And it's a very negative energy. And when it's out of control, fear can control us. So fear should warn us, but it should not dictate our actions. Many people who have used essential oils for emotional support have said that the oils have set them free. They can go forward with life, not being weighted down by unhealthy and negative emotions. The essential oil blends in the feelings collection are designed to support healthy emotions to enhance positive emotions. They can be used like a perfume or a cologne, or they can be diffused in the home. They can also be applied topically, like maybe massaged into the bottoms of the feet. People need the tools to administer to themselves or to someone else for emotional trauma, emotional abuse, or even ritual abuse. Yes, there are people today, even in America, that are weighted down by ritual abuse. Our identity is affected by these emotions. If you were raised in an abusive family, the way that you view your self-worth self -worth has been affected. Gary Young, the founder of Young Living Essential Oils, has counseled thousands of people over the years regarding illness. He says that 100% of the time, 
every one of those illnesses can be traced back to negative emotions based on emotional trauma that people have had in the past. Every one of them. Now that's a lot. Yeah. He says many times that you have to address the emotion before you can address the physical illness. Emotions can become imprinted in a person's DNA. For example, a young boy is sitting on the floor in his home and he sees a spider. He's never seen one before, so he's curious. It's kind of cool. He calls his mother over and she starts to scream, No, it's a spider! Don't touch it! Boom! What happens? He's afraid of spiders now. Where he had never been afraid before. That emotion is imprinted in his DNA. Then, at age 40, he's wanting to go into the jungle. He wants to explore some plants. But he's terrified of spiders. So is he going into the jungle? No, he's not. That fear was imprinted at a young age by his mother. And that changed the direction of his life. How can we change that imprint? How do we remove it? That's what we're going to discuss in today's class. Now, when you use the feelings collection oils, you have to prepare for it. Um, especially when you're first starting to use them. After you've used them a little bit, you can use you know just the ones that you need. But when you're starting it, everyone really needs to use all of them yes. at the beginning. Yes. Um, so make sure that you're in a calming environment where you will not be interrupted. Uh, for some of you, that's very easy to find. But for others of you, you may need to make arrangements for someone to watch your children. Or maybe wait until they've gone to sleep. And, you know, that may be late, but, you know, that may be the best time. Mm -hmm. um, you may either use these oils on yourself or you may apply them to someone else. And we'll talk about both during this class. So first you have to recognize the, that emotion that you want to address. If there's a particular one that you know about, well, you want to bring that to mind so that you can take steps on intention, intentionally to remove that, um, those negative emotions from inhibiting your life. Um, for some of you, this is really easy. You may know exactly why you're stressed or why you're fearful. Others of you, though, you may have buried a traumatic experience and, in an attempt at self-preservation. So the, very, the first few times you do this, you may not address the main issue, but that's all right. Just deal with the events and the emotions as they come to mind. Don't try and force it. Okay, the first oil we're going to talk about in this kit is Valor. The first, this is the first oil you're going to use. You can apply it to the bottom of your feet, then just sit and enjoy that relaxed feeling that you get. You may also apply it on your temples, the sternum, the chest, the throat, the chakras, whatever. If you're doing this for someone else, put it on the bottom of their feet. Cross your hands and hold both feet for three minutes. And you can just enjoy the energy exchange between you and your family member or client. This is very important. Valor's a fascinating blend. It uses Roman chamomile and blue tansy, both of which were very important to the Roman soldiers. Before going into battle, they would put both of these plants into the water of the Roman baths. Then they would soak in the water. They believed the plants would give them the emotional support and the strength to go into battle. This would make them stronger for the fight they were preparing for. It became a ritual. Gary Young then chose to add rosewood to these oils because of the fragrance. When you apply Valor, it's very, very relaxing. Enjoy this feeling. Don't be in a rush. It also gives you the feeling of empowerment. You will feel that you can get up and face the world, and you can. Yes, this is a big one in our family. <laughs> we use that one a lot. The next oil is Harmony. Now, all of these oils you can buy individually, but again, it's, it's better to start with the whole kit. When your emotions are unbalanced, your energy fields, which are also called chakras, are all scrambled. For example, you get a phone call that your mother was killed by a drunk driver. Um, those painful emotions will go into the heart and cause the heart chakra, the energy that's flowing into the heart, to lock up. And that affects the other parts of the body. 
The chakras that are above or the chakras that are below the heart will close also, trying to limit the intense pain to that one location so that it doesn't affect the entire body. We have to open the chakras before we can deal with those emotions. Now, girls or women who are raped as teenagers often have closed the pelvic chakra to contain the trauma, and as an adult, they can't get pregnant. So they have to open those chakras so that their energy can flow correctly again. You can apply harmony to those meridians to open those locations and let the energy flow as it should. One oil that's in harmony is Spanish sage. Traditionally, this plant has been used to help people breathe deeper. The Dakota Indians use this sage in many of their rituals for cleansing. Ylang Ylang balances the yin and the yang energies. So unless these two energies are balanced, people are not willing to let go of them, the masculine or the feminine energies. Maybe a woman who has been through traumatic events doesn't want to let go of the masculine energies in a way of shielding herself. Uh, men who have been abused by their girlfriends may hold on to feminine energies and then abuse, end up abusing their next girlfriend. Um, a child may copy a parent's behaviors. So it makes a negative cycle that just keeps going. And it is very, very real. All of that is imprinted, and we have to change the DNA. To do that, we balance energies with valor, and then we harmonize them with harmony. Open the chakras so that you don't feel combative. The energy in your body needs to flow. I don't care if it's a good emotion. It need, you need to let it go. If it's trapped or stored, well, trapped or stored anger is mm -hmm. suspected to be the cause of liver cancer. Scary. Gary Young says that he has never seen a physical problem that isn't also a spiritual problem. So, um, I recommend when you start it, I, I would put it over the heart chakra. But if you know of a particular chakra that's closed, you know, use it. Mm -hmm. But would you like to smell I would, yes. So, I love the smell Thank of honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you can also put a little bit under your nose so that you can smell it. That's good. So first, you balance the energies with valor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, you ha uh, harmonize the energy with harmony. And the third step is... Is forgiveness. Now, forgiveness is a godly principle. It's talked about in the Bible that we need to forgive and never quit forgiving. If we don't forgive, we can't be forgiven. Part of that is erasing that memory. We have been through that. Something happens. We think we have forgiven the person, but ten years later, something comes up, and we're back in those same emotions. How can we really forgive that person? The answer, but can you forget? No, you can't forget. When you truly forgive, you have forgotten. But how can you forget something that's imprinted at the cellular tissue level? It's not possible. So we have to erase it. We can't be healed until we forgive. And we can't forgive until we're ready to forget it. The most effective location to apply the essential oil blend of forgiveness is the navel. Just rub the oil around the navel. Rub it around the entire tummy. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to do that, though. No, we won't. we'll let you I'll do that. It, <laughs> you need I'll to order the oils oil. and do that yourself. <laughs> Don't put it inside the navel. Just rub it on the outside. The navel, the belly button, connects nerve endings over the entire body. After you put it in the navel, put a little under the nose. Enjoy the scent of forgiveness. By the way, breathing, it's a powerful way to get yes. in the body, too. Yes. Okay. Don't rush through this. You lose spiritually when you're in a state of anger. So frankincense is one of the oils in this blend. It helps people be more in harmony with the Creator, and it's a wonderful oil. I love that. Okay, now we are feeling balanced and empowered with valor. Our energy centers are opened, and we feel harmonized with harmony. Now we are feeling the release of forgiveness. Just lay there and smell the oils. Let your thoughts wander where they will. The first time you do it, you may think, How long do I have to lie here? What do I think about? 
I've laid here all of 30 seconds. <laughs> When's something going to happen? Ha! Ah, just enjoy it. Relax and smell the oils. This is why you don't want to be interrupted. If you need an hour or two hours, then use that time. No music, no strobe lights. Just you and quiet. Peace. If you don't start feeling that peace, then go to your fourth oil. The fourth oil is present time. Um, if a person is stressed or angry, they are not living in the present time. They're living in the past, somewhere. If you're in the past, no emotions will come to the surface. If you lay there five or ten minutes and nothing's coming up, it's likely that you're not living in the present right now. Um, too many people live in the past. You can actually tell when a person is living, where a person is living, by their conversation. If they're, what they're talking about is, well, when I went here, or when I did this, well, they're actually living in the past. That's where their thoughts are. That's where their emotions are. So you're not alive today if you are living in the past. So the past is over. It's gone. And yet we spend so much of our resources emotionally dragging the past along behind us. We just keep adding more and more of our baggage and dragging it along. Then we wonder why tomorrow is the same as yesterday. Well, what's that old adage? If you always do what you've always done, you always get what you've always got. Well, you have to change that if you want your future to be different. Present time brings you out of the past. When you're in present time, you can then let go of your past emotions. So what you do is you just take a couple of drops of present time and you rub it on your thymus, just below that notch in your throat. And you rub it clockwise, in a clockwise motion. You'll smell it immediately. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And the main oil that you'll smell is neroli, which has a way of locking in at a moment in time. Now spruce is also a strong oil, aroma in this oil because spruce is traditionally believed to anchor a person, kind of like a tree. Mm -hmm. It's strong. It represents power. Um, the neroli brings you to now to the moment, to the present, and the spruce anchors you in that moment. Now ylang ylang, it was also added to bring the male and female energies into balance so that they can be locked or anchored in the moment right here. After you've used present time, then it's safe to go back in the past because present time anchors your emotions to the present while you're examining the past. Now that's important because without present time, you'll go back in the past and you'll build onto that emotion. But if you're anchored in the present, then you're free to examine the emotion and process it. That's what happens to most people when they examine the past. They're just building on that emotion. They feel it again. And then they start making it stronger and more powerful. And it's just like an addiction. Mm -hmm. um, every time you feel an addiction, you make it stronger and more, you feed an addiction. You make it stronger and more powerful. Well, you have to be anchored emotionally in the present time so that you can examine those negative emotions in the past without feeding them. Mm -hmm. So then after you put it on, then just feel. Just breathe. Let the emotions come forward. If they're slow coming forward, then you can go on to the next oil. Okay, this is called release. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Many times we're so hardened to an emotion that we've conditioned ourselves to bring it up again and again. We never want, we're not ever going to talk about it, we think, or look at it or do anything with that emotion. Release goes to the liver. Just put three or four drops on your left hand reach under your shirt and rub it on the liver. Again, I'm not gonna We're not going to do that. Do that. We'll let you it. do that. <laughs> Anger is pushed right into the liver. If you have a liver problem, you likely have a pancreas problem. Rub the oil on the liver, then put a drop under your nose and breathe it. I will do that. Yeah, smell it. Oh, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. These are all beautiful oils. Yes. At this point, the emotions are flooding and pouring out. Just let them come. Whatever time it takes, just be in the space to let it come. Recognize that release also allowed you to go beyond where you've been before. That's kind of exciting. Yeah. You can put it over your heart, 
put it wherever you like. But if you know you are stuck out of fear, go to the liver. It is your fear factory. That is what makes the chemistry to change, our emotions affecting our physical body. Did you know that emotions can be an addiction? Some people pull up an emotion and let it martyr them. They enjoy the attention they get by talking about it over and over. Emotions can be very addicting. But when you've used present time to anchor you emotionally to the present, then you can go back, examine that emotion, and decide whether it's an emotion that benefits you or one that's tearing you apart. If the emotion is not serving you, then please let it go. Just release it. Only hang on to it if you want to hang on to it. How do you know if you have effectively let go of an emotion? When you can go back later and look at it, but it doesn't bring up an emotional reaction in you, then eventually you can forget it. All of us have been through things that we need to let go on. The next oil is really, really special. This one is just fun. It's fun to even say. <laughs> it's inner child. Mm -hmm. I'll hold it up there and let you see it. Many times we have to go back to our inner child to get our identity. Women especially have this problem. When we're children, we're Terry or Anne or Susie or Sally. Um, when we get married, we're Mrs. So and so. And then we're children. Then we have children. And, you know, we're Eva's mom or Robert's mom. And we lose our identity. Um, inner child also helps us to inscribe on the template of our DNA with positive information. That means we can put positive information on our identity and make it permanent, make it stay. It helps to build ourselves up so that you can once again be Terry or Anne with, and having your own identity again, just like when you were a child. That's fun. Yeah. Um, you, can be, you can't be successful if you can't change the That's negative fine. emotions and get rid of that baggage. Um, you have to let it go and then build a positive identity. Inner child is the most fun to apply. And I'm, I'm not going to do it because I can't talk at the same time. But you basically put it on the thumb of, the pad of your thumb. You put a drop or two. And then you put Let's it in your mouth. Okay, how about that? I'll let you do it. <laughs> and then you put it on the top of your mouth. And just hold it there. And just like you were sucking your thumb. <laughs> and um, mm -hmm. you just hold it. And, you know, children like orange. And they like orange pop. They like orange popsicle. Well, Gary used orange and tangerine to invoke the feeling of happiness. He also added neroli because it's a high-frequency oil. But it's also a very expensive oil. And a child and an adult need to know that he or she is worth it, that they are valuable. You are valuable. And that's why he put Neroli in here, to remind us that we are valuable. That is so good. Mm -hmm. You know, that would be a good oil for empty nesters, wouldn't it? That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Because we all have to reclaim our identity, and we're still of value and worth right. to our friends and husbands, wives, and to society. We... Don't just quit living because the children go. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay, we're going to do some concluding thoughts right now. Once you've reached this point, when you've released all negative emotions for the moment, you want to go back then and reapply valor to the back of the neck and to your feet. This will anchor that freedom in place. Anchor those positive emotions you are feeling. We all want to get on with life. We don't want to hold on to negative stuff. You know, life's too precious and life's too short. We need to make every day count and, and be positive. Mm -hmm. Then put a couple of drops on your fingertips and rub them up the back of your neck to the notch in your hairline and then rub it. It is clockwise circles once again that you rub it right there. Mm -hmm. How often? As often as you desire and as your work schedule allows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you might want, not want to sit and do this at work. Right. <laughs> Everyone has emotions. Some people have wonderful childhoods. But somewhere along life's path, you'll have an emotion that sticks with you. It may be as an adult, but somewhere we will hit something that stops us in our tracks. Maybe you just want to use one oil. Rub forgiveness on your navel 
when you go to bed and just lie there. Put a couple of drops of inner child on your thumb. That's the only chance you get to suck your thumb That's once right. again. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the feelings collection is this starting point. Um, I personally, um, it's hard for me to choose which oil in this collection I like, but I think I'd kind of have to go with inner child because I like to be a child at heart. I, uh, you know, that's not going to hurt anybody to have fun, be a kid, have tears come in your eyes when you go to Disney World and see the castle. It's okay, I did that, <laughs> but I, I love that one. Terry, which one do you like? I like I, out of this collection. Well, besides Valor, which Valor is, I mean, it's a staple at our house. We we really need Valor mm -hmm. for lots of things, but Release is one that I need every now and then. Um, I I have the larger bottle of this. Um, just because there are times that I get up in the morning and I just, I feel like something is keeping me back emotionally. And I don't, don't, you know, there may not even have been a, a, anything that happened. I just feel like I need to release something. And so I'll put it on over my heart. You know, going through this, you don't always have to examine every single emotion for it to, to get rid of it. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll apply release and whatever it was that was bothering me it's just gone or you know it may not be immediate sometimes it is immediate mm -hmm. and I just I need it <laughs> sometimes so this mm -hmm. is one that I keep around but you know your body will tell you which one um, I, I can guarantee you that there is at least one of them that you're drawn to mm -hmm. um, going through this and if you haven't used any of them you're probably wanting the whole collection that's what the advantage is I can see that can't you Terry if you mm -hmm. have the whole collection and there's something you need for sure right. that day. You have it. Where if you, as if you just order one bottle, there may be another bottle that you would need right. at that particular time. Exactly. So have it on hand. It's and then use yeah. it when you to, need it. To start with, you need them all. Right, I mean, right. everyone needs yeah, all of them to we start do. with. Yeah. So we know now that negative emotions, Terry, can have a real effect on our immune systems. Yeah. And we don't want that to happen. Right. Likewise, positive emotions can have a positive effect on our immune system. We all want to be up and active and really alive and, and enjoy every day to its fullest. When you start to get your emotions under control, your cortisol levels will drop. And some of those negative health symptoms possibly will start to drop too. That's very possible. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about emotional health, but it's about our physical health, our physical well-being. The oils in this kit should be used weekly if not daily, depending on your need. Like Terry said, your body, let your body be your guide. Mm -hmm. Apply them at night so you can wake up refreshed, having released yesterday's stress, and you're ready to get on with positive thoughts about what you can accomplish the, in the new day. Mm -hmm. It's time to let go and go forward. There's a saying, let go and let God. Let's do that. Let's experience life to its fullest and enjoy it. That's right. Um, if you are already a member of Young Living, then you can go ahead and order using your account. Um, it's called the Feelings Collection is the name of it. So you can just do a search for Feelings Collection. Um, or if there's a particular oil that just, that one oil that we held up just is really reaching out to you, um, then you can, you can look that up. Um, but if you are not yet a member of Young Living, well, you have to be a member mm -hmm. to to order the oils. Mm -hmm. And so there are two ways to order. You can sign up as a retail customer where you're just buying one thing and you know you don't have to buy a starter kit or anything like that. Um, I really don't recommend that because then you're paying full retail price. But um, you know, it's it, right. if you're just interested in one thing, well, you know, that's that's one mm -hmm. way you can join. Mm -hmm. um, you can also join as a wholesale member. And which is how most people, I mean, more than 75% of people mm -hmm. sign up that way with Young Living. Um, in fact, um, in 2015, um, the there were 94% of the people who were signed up with Young Living were mem were wholesale members. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's that's quite a few. Um, but to be able to sign up, you can sign up under one of us. We would love to have have you added to our team. Um, we educate our people. We do these videos. Um, we have Facebook as well as YouTube. Um, our account on both places is called Streams of Oil, which is the name that we've given our team. Mm -hmm. um, if you would like to sign up under me, I'm Terry, and uh, a direct link to sign up would be yl.pe slash 3xzz.
and you type that in, it will take you to this to the how to become a member, and you know you start filling out the form. Um, and my number is already automatically put in, so you would be signed up under me. And if you'd mm -hmm. rather sign up under Anne, okay, uh, it's y l dot p e slash four g f three, and we work together, so it matters not who you sign up under. We're just both interested in people having um, more wellness and more enjoyment in life. Exactly. That's what it's all about. Exactly. Feel free to share the, uh, this video about the feelings um, and uh, tell people about it. So, um, and and we plan to do a CD. That's right. We're, so that'll be coming. Yep. So mm -hmm. if you're on our team, then whenever we get that done, you'll be getting it. So. Yeah, otherwise you're welcome to watch the video or share it. If you're not mm -hmm. subscribed to our Facebook page or to our um, YouTube account, mm -hmm. then we'd be happy for you to subscribe. We post to both places periodically. Um, the YouTube, not so much because I'm still learning <laughs> all the stuff about posting to YouTube. But Facebook, mm -hmm. I, I try and post there every day and uh, just share information about the oils because there's not a, a lot out there. So um, I try and share what we know. Right. So thank you very much, and we'll see you again on the next video. Bye.